Alright, so now you get another mission. You can go get the Holy Grail. Take a look at this telegram. Now, if you discovered the Holy Grail, would you send a telegraph to somebody telling them exactly where it is? I mean, call me crazy, but that doesn't sound too safe. So yeah, you can go find the Holy Grail now, but guess what? Once you get to the end, you'll lose because you didn't do these other stupid missions. Again, they don't tell you. This level sucks. Now look at that introduction. I've had farts that lasted longer than that. There's n a hint would have been nice, honestly. Because you have no clue what you're doing in this level. Honest to God, there's no indication of what to do. You just wander around. I mean, and you wander around for hours if there weren't, if the place wasn't swarming with Nazis. That's the only thing that limits your gameplay in this level is that you get beat up by a bunch of bald Nazis. So I I went on GameFAQs to try to figure out how to get through this. There was a there was a walkthrough, but it was just totally it was just totally erroneous. It didn't work. I'm serious. I'm not sure how I exactly got through this level, but it was no thanks to GameFAQs. And there were two different walkthroughs. Neither one of them was right. I tried them both. I don't know. I guess it serves me right. Alright, so I'll just let this Nazi beat me up and then I'll show you the end of it. Oh yeah, and by the way, going through these doors is the equivalent to going up ladders in the boat, in the boat stage. Is it... Oh, it's just nonsense. There's no reason it had to be that bad. Okay, so here I'm going to show you the ending of this. Another hard thing to do is sit in that chair. I'm not sure why you'd assume that you're supposed to sit in a chair to open that. There you go, now you completed this mission. So we get to move on to the second to last mission, which is rescuing Marcus Brody. This is... I don't even know how he... How he does this. He just somehow knows where Marcus is. Somehow he knows that he's on a tank. I don't understand this crap at all. Alright, so... I'm gonna pr try to talk you through this. Uh, this, again, it's... It's a huge pain in the ass to try to fight. Indiana Jones sucks more than ever. Trying to use his fist, so try to use that whip. You want to stay on the right end of that tank there, because as the enemies come out, they're almost within whipping distance. And you see, if you you can obviously you can fall off the tank, you can die that way. And for some, you see that right there, is that the enemy just somehow, if you fall at all, you fall off the tank. So that energy bar that's useless. You could have full life and fall off. It doesn't matter. I don't understand that. Look at this boss. Look at that. Just jumps off. Another great boss. Alright, so now we're just one step away from going to get the Grail. Are you as excited as I am? Alright, now, once you accept this mission, you've got, um, you've got, like, two more mini-games. This is the first of it. They give you a map, and you have to, like, memorize that. And find your way through this maze. You spell out the name Jehovah over and over again to get through this. Now look at how much bullshit this is. The H's look like N's. That that used to fuck me up a lot in this game when I was a kid. I remember that shit. Oh yeah, and by the way, Jehovah doesn't start with an I like it did in the movie. Just to add to your uh, confusion. The J's kind of faintly look like I's. I mean, this is... Could have been made a little clearer. Now you see Indiana Jones' candle is running out. So you can't just take your time in this level. You have to move it or else pretty soon you'll be in pitch black and you'll just have to rely on your memory on how to get through this. Alright. And then you have to select whichever symbol was at the very beginning of your map. It's fairly straightforward. It's easy to fuck up though. Okay, so now this is your last challenge. You'll have to select the grail from an array of other grails. Now, how are you going to choose? Ah, oh, remember that sketch you made? Yes, that'll help me. And then if you 
if you didn't uh, if you didn't draw that correctly, he just holds up a blank piece of paper. I think that's funny. Now look at this. They're all the fucking same almost. This is outrageous. You will choose wrong again and again and again. And once you choose wrong once, that's it. It's game over. You have to start all over again. And the thing is, I think that each game, it's going to be a random grail, so you can't just memorize which one it is. I mean, it's always different. Let's see if that was right. Shit. This is just stupid. It really is. Look at it. They're all similar. This is crazy. I think that was it. Son of a bitch! No, apparently not. Now, you see, I think the handles were curved a little bit, and this. You have to look at the handles and the stem, I guess, and the top to see if that's curved inward or outward. I don't know, it's just. It's one final kick in the nuts to end a real shitty game. They could have done a lot better than this game. I feel this game had some wasted potential. Now look at this ending that they give you here. This is... This is worse than the ending to Jeopardy, honestly. Well, for all my troubles, I get a still frame of Indiana Jones, isn't that... Isn't that rewarding? Put a bullet through that guy's head.